Patient Safety Act, House Bill 3843, is designed to set a safe limit on the number of patients a registered nurse must care for at one time. It will improve nurse patient staffing levels and thus enhance the safety and quality of care of patients in Massachusetts hospitals. As you've heard, significant inverse relationships have been consistently demonstrated between low nurse staffing levels and hospital mortality, failure to rescue, length of stay, and a variety of clinical conditions. Studies have also demonstrated that inadequate nurse staffing levels have led to higher rates of job dissatisfaction, adverse physical and mental health outcomes, nurse burnout, and higher turnover rates. This wide range of negative outcomes for both patients and nurses has economic and financial implications for payers and providers. Let's look at the evidence. A recent study by Dahl examined the economic implications of staffing changes and found that each additional registered nurse generated about $69,000 in reduced medical costs and improved national productivity. This study did not even include <coughs> savings related to reduced nurse burnout or turnover rates, which have also been linked to higher nurse staffing levels and improved patient outcomes. For example, one study estimates that the turnover cost per registered nurse averages $95,000. How do staffing levels affect a hospital's bottom line? One study of 422 hospitals found that when registered nurse level, levels rose, there was an increase in operating costs to hospitals, but no decrease in profits. In another study of 799 hospitals, Needleman found little to no increase in hospital costs. Legislation enacted in California led to an increase in RN staffing levels, and a study by Aiken found that this was associated with lower patient mortality, less nurse burnout, and higher job satisfaction. And according to Medicare cost reports, there is no evidence that hospital profitability suffers as a result of RN patient load limits. The Affordable Care Act has introduced at least two measures to improve the quality of hospital care that may be directly linked to nurse-patient staffing ratios, value-based purchasing and readmission rates. Value-based purchasing rewards hospitals with bonuses or penalizes them based on how they perform on 24 quality measures, which include patient satisfaction surveys and for the first time this year, death rates. The readmission reduction program penalizes hospitals for excessive readmission rates. Hospitals with higher nurse staffing levels had a 25% lower odds of Medicare readmission rates. In Massachusetts, 85% of hospitals are currently being penalized by CMS for excessive rates of Medicare readmissions and 37% for quality of care related penalties. The health system is rapidly evolving towards a more value-based system in which providers will be increasingly rewarded for improvements in quality raising in patient staffing levels, which have been demonstrated to improve quality of care is a moral, political, and economic imperative whose time has come. Thank you.